Welcome back to another QB Dork resource showcase video. Today we're going to be looking at an amazing banking script from the one and only Wasabi. Now, this banking script is a complete banking system. It gives you cards to use ATMs. It has loan system built in, a credit score, and a whole host of other features. Now, some updates that I've made to this channel in the background since my last video. One, I have a new microphone. Hopefully the audio is a lot better and a lot crisper. Uh, two, I've moved away from the G Portal game server environment and I've gone over to a one of one virtual desktop environment, meaning what I replicate, you should replicate as well in these uh, showcase videos. So if we go over to that now, you can see I have a full Windows environment now. Uh, so we are going to be looking at the complete banking script by Wasabi. It's fully optimized. It's a core banking script, card theft system. You can have multiple bank cards. Your cards can expire, pin protection, a whole host. And I'm still scrolling down of features in this banking system. So let's show you how to buy it, install it, and let's show you some features of it. So what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to add this to our cart. We're going to continue with 5M and we're going to log in just like so. Once you're logged in, it's going to ask you to sign in with your Discord as well. Don't forget you can get 15% off if this is your first script you're buying with Wasabi. So let's add that to our cart. Let's skip the Discord for now because I am already there. Uh, let's go to our basket and let's proceed to the checkout. From here, what you want to do is continue to payment. You want to fill in your email address, full name, postcode, card number, expiry date, so on and so forth. Click both of these, pay the money, and then you want to head over to your TFX RE assets, granted assets, and you want to look for Wasabi. Oh, that wrong. Okay, so for this one, we're going to need two scripts. We're going to need the banking and the Wasabi bridge. Now, download both of these files and wait for them to finish downloading. Fantastic. We want to open up the bridge file. We're always going to work on the bridge file first. Always, if there is a script with a bridge file, always use that first. We're going to right click that and we're going to go to extract to a specific folder. We're going to click our desktop and click new folder. We're going to remove the dot pack at the end. And then press OK. And then we can close that one off. And we want to go to the downloads again. And we want to double click on our banking pack. Have that open up here. We want to go back one level. And we want to extract again to a specific folder. And then we're going to go to our desktop. We're going to click new folder and we're going to remove the dot pack from the end and press OK. Fab. Now that's done. We want to minimize this, minimize that. And as you can see, both files are on my desktop. So let's open up our server files. Wherever you store them, for me, it's this PC, local disk, GTA, data resources and for the bridge we're going to put it into the libs so i'm just going to pop that in there you can see it's already there i'm going to replace it because i believe that this is an updated version of the bridge which is grand so the bridge is will also detect everything you do not need to make any changes to the bridge but what we do need to do is also add in our banking system. Now for me, I'm going to put it into my add-ons folder. But you can place this in any folder you want. Also remember, if you are using anything like PS banking, QB banking, uh, anything like that, or any other banking script, you need to remove them before installing this new script. So there's a few alterations we need to make to 
the actual banking file. All SQL files should run automatically the first time it runs. But what we need to do is go into here, go into game. Sorry, we need to go to install first. And then we need to go to the image, uh, the, the items file. So if you're using QB Core, click on QB Core, which gives you the item that you need. I'm not using QB Core, I am using Ox inventory. So we'll go into Ox. I'm going to take these two files, sorry, these two items, and we're going to add them to my items lure. Now, for me to get there, I need to go to Ox, Inventory, Data, and then Items Lure. Now, for me, they're already here. Bank card and transaction, uh, transactions receipt. For you, they won't be, so just make sure you pop them after your last one that you added right here. Hit Enter twice, and then paste them in there. Also, just double check that there is a comma after the last one, otherwise you will get errors in your console. Now that's done, what we can do, we can go into these inventory images. We're gonna wanna copy these, and then we're gonna head back to our resource folder, and we're gonna go to Ox, and we're gonna go to Ox inventory, web, and images. Then we're just going to paste those two files into here. I already have them, but let's replace them anyway. Once that part's done, we can now move back to our resource folder, back into add-ons. We can go all the way to Wasabi Banking. We can go to Game. And then we want to go to Configuration. We want to go into the config file like that. Okay, so here is where the meat and potatoes of this script are. This is where you're going to make most of your changes. For me, most of this stuff is going to be set already. But what we need to do is actually move it from the ESX version over to QB Core. So I want you to scroll down to line 39 and change automatic check society to true. I want you to change account add on account data to management funds. Just like so. Copy that. Delete them ones out. I also want you to change account name to job name. And just like that, you're ready to go. Now, there are some things in here that you can change. For me, I'm going to change the euro symbol to a dollar sign because I normally have American servers. Um, but in here, we can change everything. So here is your max credit score. You can change all of that. You can change all of the icons. So if you've got a very poor credit score, things like that. The loans that you can set up as well, you can add these. I mean, you can put a $10 million loan in if you really want. I don't know why you'd want to, but you can. Uh, all your props. Uh, all of your societies that are allowed as well. And that can access it. And everything else. Okay, so that is now installed. We can minimize that and we can head to our TX admin. And we can restart our server. If all has gone well, there will be no errors on the console. When you when this server restarts so i'm going to come back once the server's restarted and then we're going to jump into the game and i will show you the features and there you go we're back and as you can see wasabi banking all tables added you can disable this if you want by turning it to false but i like to keep it on true now let's jump into the server and show you some of this in action okay so we're back in the server now if I head on over to the ATM, I can open the ATM. As you see, I've got two accounts here. 
I open up this one. Nice little animation and prop there. I put my pin number in. I have full access to my account. A really clean and nice interface as well. Uh, let's take my card back from the machine. Let's head into the bank. Let's open the bank. Whoops, did not mean to do that. So, here in my wallet you can see I have $32 and I have 18000 in my main account. Now, I have a blocked card. So let me get rid of that card. So it's 8507. Let's confirm that. Okay, so I've now got rid of that card. Let's add a new card. Let's go for a default card. And let's give myself a new pin. 3254. There you go. It's debited $1,000 from me. And it's paid for the new card. So if I now go outside to the cash point again and check my inventory, as you can see, I've got two bank cards now. And I can use. The ATM. So if I go to this one and I put my PIN number in, I have my account back. So let's show you some features in the actual bank itself. Some really nice features. You can also change the interaction from press e to the target system that's all done within the config file um from here i can see all of my transactions for my personal my savings my society account and any shared accounts i have so let's go back to personal uh, if i go to here i can see my gang's account that i've set up or i can create a new account and we can share that out to any users that we want we can also create a card for that account as well and also input and deposit and transfer money to different iban numbers as well from here we can go to society which is my law enforcement job so as i'm a police officer on this server i can add and withdraw money from the police officer's account again add another card or remove the card and my IBAN number is WSB dash police. Savings account. I can set up a savings account. I will earn 2% interest on my money that's in there. I've got $200 in there at the moment gaining interest. Probably not going to make an awful, um, awful lot of amount, but you know, every little helps. Really cool feature. Never seen this in any other server or scripts before. I highly think that this is going to be a very useful feature. Again, all of this can be configured within the config file. So make sure you're checking that out to change up your savings accounts stuff and your interest rate and also your thing. Now we move on to the most interesting part. We've got loans. Uh, it comes with a little loan warning. Ensure you can meet the repayment terms to avoid financial and credit risks. Everybody starts off with a 500 credit score, meaning you can take these two loans out so if I wanted a 10,000 loan over 45 days, I'd need a 400 credit score. Uh, my interest will be 1,000, so it's going to ask me for 11,000 back. If I confirm that, that's now gone into my account. So I now have 27,000 instead of the 18,000 I had. Now, this will take a payment in an hour's time. So my next payment, it'll, it'll, take, it'll charge me two, uh, $244 every hour as that's a full day in gta i can come into any bank and also pay that loan back and as you can see it will give me an additional 75 points for paying it back on my credit score if i come out of that and go back it will update my credit score accordingly kick the dead person and there you go so my credit score has now gone up to 575 some other features that I can't really show you as there's no one else in this server is you can steal other people's cards. You can take them to any ATM machine, pop them in. It will obviously change the name. You can 
use the card. It's going to ask you for the pin number. If you can guess it, it's not going to work. I've got two more attempts. Let's do that. And then that's going to block the card, meaning that card is now useless until I go back into here and restart this card. So if I go to here and I remove the card that I've just blocked, so 5988, I delete that one, and I also delete 2756. That's going to get rid of them. And they ask me to create a new card. So if I go into settings. Oh, sorry. If I go into here and I create a new card. And I go to my default card. Confirm that. I go to the settings. I can check active or blocked. If you do manage to get your card back, you would go to the settings on your card number. And have a look. You can make some edits. You can change your pin. You can add new cards. I love the fact that you can go back through all of these cards that you've set up and make them active again if you do manage to find if they are stolen from you. Uh, savings account, it does take from cash. So if I add $32 to my savings account, it's going to take it from my cash and put it in. Oh, no, wrong one, sorry. So I'm going to go $64 in there. That's leaving me with zero, but it's put it into my account. Uh, really, really in-depth script. Really highly configurable as well from everything that you can do. As I said, you can change this E to target uh, with a simple uh, prompt in the command menu that is just changing it from false to true. Right, guys, if you like what you see, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me a comment down below what scripts you think I should be reviewing and coming at you with. Now, I really like this script. I'm going to give this script a solid 8 out of 10. It's a very good script, very in-depth. One of its first that I've ever seen from the likes of Wasabi and other creators out there. Uh, you do get icons on the map as well, so your blips for all of your maps around the city as well that are clear. You can clearly see that they are banks, um, and they are split into three different kinds. You've got your flea car, your Pacific, where's Pacific? It's up here. And then obviously up in Polito as well, you've got your Polito bank. So guys, again, if you like what you see, make sure you check out the link in the description below for where to pick this script up. I highly recommend it. I really hope to work with Wasabi again in the future because their scripts are amazing. This one is going to get the QB Dork seal of approval. And I will catch you in the next one.